First of all, I would like to thank you for the uh, invitation to participate in this 25th round table. And uh, especially at such a, an important junction, not just for the Greek economy, but Greek society in general. Uh, the state, and I don't need to recap on, on the measures, I think that they've been uh, repeatedly heard over the last few months, uh, has taken many measures for supporting uh, the business community and, of course, above all, jobs. However, careful planning will be required in order to support the economy's recuperation after these measures uh, are lifted. And uh, I think that the National Recovery Plan will play an extremely important role uh, in transforming uh, the Greek economy, which I would say is probably one of the last opportunities, if not the last opportunity, that we will have in this country in order to be able to transform um, the, the way of uh, living in an everyday business. However, we need to assess what is the current situation and what we need to change and what we need to reform. So first of all, the, we have a tremendous difficulty in accessing finance uh, through a systemic banking system, which although it has been recapitalized three times <coughs> over the last eight years, literally with uh, tremendous sacrifices by every Greek citizen, we have the appalling situation whereby out of the 840 thousand businesses which are registered in this country, only 25,000, um, less than 10%, have direct access to the systemic uh, banking system in this country. That is absolutely appalling. And a further statistic is that 22% of the loan applications which are made to banks today are being rejected. How many? 22% is being rejected when the European Union average is 8%. Now, during the pandemic, we had tremendous accumulation of uh, debt uh, in the private sector. Uh, one of the major moves that we made as uh, chamber institutions over the last six months is that we addressed this problem, both to the European Union and also to Mrs. Uh, Christine Lagarde, the head of uh, the European Central Bank not just as the Greek business community, not the Greek chamber community, but we motivated all our uh, colleagues across Europe and all 27 member countries through their chamber organizations essentially requested that we uh, have some debt forgiveness for the debt that was built over this period. Unfortunately, only about a month ago, I received uh, uh, a negative response from uh, Mrs. Um, von der Leyen, and essentially what she concluded in her, um, in her response was that it is against the principles of the uh, EU when the EU or the EEC at that time was uh, uh, originated. What we need to remind Mrs. Lagarde and Mrs. von der Leyen is that when the EU was originally designed in the late 50s, in the mid 50s, uh, we didn't have a pandemic. So although I firmly believe that at the end of the day we will end up with debt forgiveness, I hope that it will take place sooner rather than later, because if it takes place later, we're going to have many victims as far as the business community is concerned. I repeat, not just in Greece, but throughout, uh, throughout Europe. Also, uh, there is a problem as far as the critical mass of the business community in Greece. In a recent survey which uh, we carried out as uh, ACCI with Ernst, Ernst and Young here in Athens, 99.9% uh, .9 of the economy comprises of small and medium-sized enterprises. So we need to, um, and, and that of course creates a fragmentation of the production base. So we need to change that, but in order to change this uh, fabric as far as the economy is concerned, we need to have uh, motivation, we need to have incentives by the government. And I have to be clear and honest, I think that the government, and here is the minister, Andrés Gioriadis, to confirm that, is preparing a list of such incentives in order to begin to change the, um, essentially the, the, the fabric of uh, the Greek uh, business community. Um, I have to say that there have been positive developments uh, from the government for example, the reduction of the business tax rate 
down to 22%, the further reduction of the tax prepayment, which in Greece it's a paradox, but it takes place a year before you actually uh, complete your profitable or not uh, 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 term. Um, new labor law, uh, which is on the positive side, but I need to say that in order for the new labor law to succeed, uh, we need to, the, the rules to be adhered to by all, uh, all parties, all parties involved. And um, finally, as far as the national recovery plan is concerned, uh, we need to avoid the populist policies that took place in the past, and we need to concentrate by allocating these funds to the production-based sectors, because I've always said that added value comes through the uh, uh, through the uh, production-based uh, sectors of the economy, but we need to include more SMEs. We can't have a, a recovery plan that concentrates only on the very, very big players, but we need to open up with the right amount of criteria, but we need to open up the game for SMEs. Thank you very much.